This is episode three of There Just Has to Be a Better Way. And today I'm going to show you how to teach X10 to correctly handle low power lights like LEDs and there will not be any power leakage. So when you turn an LED off, it completely goes off. And the way we're going to teach X10 to do these new tricks is with this little unit right here. It is a Zettler AZ2280-1C-120AF relay. The 120 means that it is tripped by line voltage. Then the lower connectors, the one that's flat, that's your common. Just to the right is the normally open port and the other one is the normally closed. Normally open is that when there's no power, it is open, no connection. Normally closed means that when there's no power, there is a connection. This is important and you'll, you'll see why later. So the parts you're going to need are all shown right here. You got the relay and I went to Home Depot and picked up some spade connectors and a three to one plug-in adapter and a male and female wire end. And then I've got three little pieces of lamp cord and then a little short chunk of lamp cord that I had laying around with the male plugs on it. So you start by opening up the male plug and installing the wires as shown. Back the screws off, stick the bare wires in, tighten them down. Shouldn't be much of a problem. Then you fold the top down as shown and with it fully closed you put the screw in and tighten it down. Then you remove a little bit of the covering exposing the copper wire as shown and then crimp on the spade connectors. Then those are plugged into the relay ports as you can see here. These are the ports that trip the relay on or off and these will be fired by the X10 relay. Next you take your third white wire and put it on the female plug as shown and then you take one lead of your short lamp cord that had the plug on it and put it on the other side as shown. And when you're done this is what you should have. You put a spade connector on the white wire and in the next picture you'll see that the spade connector has now been put on the little piece of lamp cord. Then you take the lamp cord and plug it into the common spade connector of the relay. Then the white lamp cord gets plugged into the normally open position on the relay. So now the relay is fully wired. Then you plug the male plug into the X10 relay. Take the X10 relay and plug it onto your 3 to 1 adapter and finally take your short piece of lamp cord and plug that into the open receptacle on the 3 to 1. And here's a, another view of it to show you what it should look like. Now the assembly is done. Okay, what you see here is a standard X10 relay with a LED light in our uh, perfection heater. We use it as a night light to make it look like it's actually burning. And you can see that the amount of leakage is quite a lot. So here's what it looks like when it's fully on. And off. So now what I'm going to do is put my uh, X10 relay adapter on to show you the difference. And if you now notice the difference, there is zero leakage with the extra relay that I wired in. So here it is turned on and off. This is the way X10 should work. This relay in the normally open position can handle 30 amps at 240 volts and 20 amps at 28 volts DC. Now it can only handle 20 amps at 240 in the normally closed position. And the normally closed position would allow you to, when you shut something off with your X10 relay, it would turn the little relay on, 
which would then allow you to turn something else on. So you could turn something off and then something else on. This ability would give you the capacity to do more complex switching than a normal X10 relay would allow. The only downside to this extra relay setup that I built is you must use an appliance module. You cannot use a lamp module. The lamp module will not trip the little relay. You must use the appliance module.